Hello, hello, hello. I'm Janice and I hope you're all doing well. I look very pale right now. I'm not sure what's happening. So after Epicurean, I really enjoyed it. And a couple of my friends were like, have you tried the buffet place here, the Langham? And I was like, no, I've never tried it. And they're like, yeah, it's pretty good. You should give it a go. So in today's video, we are gonna go and check it out. It's a little bit different from what I read online. It's like, I don't think you get to go and walk around and take your own food. I think you order it and they bring it to your table. But you know what, we'll find out. We'll find out and see what it is. So yeah, we are en route. We're currently eight minutes away. I'll check back in with you when we get there. Okay, I absolutely hate driving in the city. I'm so glad I'm not the one driving. But uh, you're gonna need my phone to tap in later. We booked a parking. Before we go and devour the buffet, I want to give a quick shout out to our sponsor for this video, Skillshare. They are longtime supporters of my channel, but if you've never heard of them before, Skillshare is an online learning platform with thousands of classes that cover a huge variety of different topics. See, I've always been making videos even before YouTube, and I've always been very curious as to how I can actually become a YouTuber. And now that I do make content on YouTube, I still find myself very interested in other creators' workflow and seeing what I can learn from it. Now, I've read my YouTube comments and also my DMs, and I know that there are a number of you that are toying with the idea of creating content on YouTube. And if you are, I really recommend watching a class by one of my favorite tech YouTubers, Marquez Brown. He goes through how to plan, shoot, and edit a video, and how to grow your channel. So an annual subscription to Skillshare is less than $10 a month, but if you wanna test it out, Skillshare is offering the first 1,000 of you guys who click on the link in my description, a free trial of their premium membership. So go check it out, see if there's anything you wanna try and take it during the free trial. And uh, with that said and done, let's head to dinner before my siblings get too hangry. It's a 10 minute walk from here um, for, for, and I know that it's near the Observatory Hill but for some reason we just can't figure out which way it is which is pathetic given we pretty much grew up here. Um, yeah let's go back to the main, let's go down and then go that way. That's the wrong way. We need to go to the, we need to go to the rocks. The rocks, the rocks is that way. We'll find, we'll find it. We've got 10 minutes like we booked it for six, it's currently 5.51, so we're still okay for time. It's actually getting quite chilly in Sydney. I kind of wish I had a jacket on, um, but you know what? One of my favorite of the four seasons, my favorite season is autumn, so I'm loving it. I'm loving the, the less hot weather, especially when I'm filming. Because when I'm filming and I'm carrying like all my cameras and stuff, it gets so hot, especially in summer. I remember one time that I was filming this video in Chatswood. I was doing the Chatswood, um, Chatswood Moor Market. Oh my gosh, that was so, so hot. We are now heading to the Langham. I'm very, very excited because I've never been, I've heard good things and I can't wait. Okay, let's go. All right, we have just arrived at the Langham here at The Rocks. We are at their kitchens on Kent and we're having their buffet to table. Typically the buffet here, you can go and self-serve, but currently they give you a, like a menu and you order exactly what you want and they bring it to your table. What we have got is an extensive menu and we also each get a lobster tail as well and a complimentary drink. So what I've got is a rosé. My brother ended up getting a beer because he didn't want any rosé and my sister got a mocktail because she didn't want any rosé or beer either. And in addition to this, there's also a juice bar which you can help yourself. First off, oysters. First bite of the oysters. What dressing is this? It's a vinaigrette dressing. Okay, the oysters are really nice. I have to um, get another one before we move on to the next items that's on this extensive menu. It's very nice. We also have the lobsters coming right now. So if you order the buffet to table menu, we, you get a complimentary lobster with garlic and herb butter. 
I like it. It's very, very meaty. I would have preferred it if there was a little bit more salt. But other than that, it's, it's fine. I'm gonna add some vinaigrette to it. Next up, we have the Queensland Tiger Prawns. Usually, I don't bother with the prawns because I can't be bothered getting my hands dirty, but my brother did say that these prawns are really, really good, so I'm gonna bother with them. And they also have two different types of sauces, Thousand Island sauce and also, is that a chili type sauce, bro? These prawns are very, very fresh. It's worth me getting my hands dirty. Okay, next up, we're gonna try, we're just going down the menu. Next up, we have the Morton Bay Bugs, which are these ones. So the great thing is they've already sort of sliced it in half for you already. This is the Morton Bay Bugs with some lemon squeezed on top. Can you tell the difference between the Morton Bay Bugs and the prawns? The, the texture of it just tastes like what most crustaceans taste like. All right, this is the Tempura Bug Hand Roll with Wasabi Mayo. This one's okay, it's not bad. I actually prefer the, the sashimi more. All right, we are going to start with the Japanese soba salad. So this has some spinach, it has some seaweed, some edamame and sesame dressing. I love this sesame dressing. It just makes it so appetizing and I can eat so many vegetables just with this. So much, so much vegetables just with this Japanese salad dressing. We also have another salad. This has tomato, cucumber, some pita bread and um, it's in a vinaigrette. It's very light, it's very vinegary. It's a good start to your meal, but personally, I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't load up on this. I'm gonna go for all the good stuff, the, the oysters, the lobster, and the prawns. Those are my favorite, oh, and the sashimi. All right, next up, moving down the list, we are trying the raw plates, which has salmon, it has kingfish, it has tuna tataki with wasabi mayonnaise. It's plated so beautifully. First up, tuna tataki with wasabi mayo. It's sliced very thinly. I really like that. I think I'm gonna have to go back for more. Okay, secondly, we are now gonna try the kingfish. And last, but definitely not least, the salmon sashimi. I just appreciate how fresh everything is. Okay, next up, I'm not really too sure what this is. It has, it's some sort of raw fish with fish roe is, is my conclusion. It has octopus on top. I think it's delicious. It's very, very fresh. I would go back for more, but I, there are so many things that I do still want to try. So we're going to go and try and continue the rest of this menu. Next up on this list is the Singapore chili seafood. What it has in here is it has crab, it has mussel, and it also has bugs. So it's plated very nicely with some bean sprouts and also saffron like sprinkled on top. We're gonna start with the mussel and then move around the bowl. This is quite ho wai. It's more like a chili jam type thing. It's not that spicy at all. We've also got the Morton Bay Bugs. So it's like completely marinated. And then some crab. They've actually already cracked open the crab claw. So it's, doesn't, it's not gonna take too much effort or difficulty to, to get into the meat. It's like, it just ticks all the boxes of eating crab. It's easy to get to. It's absolutely delicious and so incredibly fresh. All right, we have sushi and nigiri plates, which has assorted sushi rolls and nigiri. So we have mostly just salmon. Everything is just so incredibly fresh. All right, we have got some oyster Kilpatrick. I prefer the raw, the raw ones more. It's not bad. Okay, now we move on to the Asian kitchen. So first up, we have the Thai style chicken fried rice. It's plated very beautifully. Let's see how it tastes. The fried rice is not bad. I think my fried rice is better. If you want to make fried rice in under 10 minutes, check out my video right here. All right, still in this same category, we have yum cha. It looks like a shiu mai, it looks like a ha gao. Okay, let's see, how, let's see how it is. Oh, I think this is, I think this is the chicken. This, the dumplings are okay. I don't think they're outstanding. 
You can definitely get better dim sums at Yum Cha. Continuing on this menu, we have a taste of India. And first up, we have a butter chicken, and then we have a palak paneer, which is a cheese and spinach curry. Apologies if I completely butchered the pronunciation of that. And it's served with basmati rice, mint yogurt, mango chutney, and also some papadams. So what we're gonna start off with is the butter chicken. It looks very, very beautiful, and it smells quite amazing. Okay, the chicken, the chicken isn't very tender. But having said that, the curry itself is it's it's quite good. It's it's very creamy, it's quite buttery, it's got a little bit of a kick to it. But yeah, the chicken, I wish it was more tender and more juicy. But uh, let's move on to the next curry, the cheese and spinach. I actually prefer the buttered chicken over this one actually. The papadam with mint yogurt. Oh that's really nice. It's really nice and refreshing. All right, we now move on to the other side of the menu, which has an extensive amount of food as well. So first up, we have the Sunday roast, and you get your choice of lamb, chicken, or pork belly, and because there's three of us, we ordered one of each. And it also comes with Yorkshire pudding. Let's try the pork first, and then lamb, and then chicken. Here's the piece of lamb. It's quite tough. Have it with the gravy. It's a bit better with the gravy, but it's still very dry. Okay, next up we are trying the pork belly. It has a pretty crisp pork crackling on the very top. It's so crispy. Now we have the chicken. This chicken isn't as um, tough as the one in the butter chicken. The roast is okay. So far my favorite is still the seafood. The oysters are amazing. Lobster is great, crabs are so good. To finish off the roast, we also have the Yorkshire pudding. I've actually never had a Yorkshire pudding before. I'm not sure if I've had. It just tastes like bread. I love bread, so it's not an insult. All right, we are done with the Sunday roast. Now we're gonna move on to Western Kitchen. There is the salmon fillet and also the roasted duck breast. So we're going to start with the roasted duck breast. It has beetroot, ketchup and roasted baby vegetables. It also appears to be cooked quite perfectly. Of all the proteins that I've had today, I think the duck is my favourite so far. It's still rel <laughs> it's still quite tender. Now we move on to the salmon with dashi broth and also a bok choy. This is what it looks like. For me, my favourite is still probably the duck and then like the seafood and the sashimi that's my favorite we are now done with the western kitchen now we move on to the pasta and the rice there is the risotto and also truffle mac and cheese it's saffron risotto with veal i'm just a lot more of a fan of the raw food as opposed to the hot food um so let's move on to the mac and and cheese smelled very fragrant of truffle In terms of the mac and cheese, the flavor of the truffle is very strong, but it's not as cheesy and oozy as I would have hoped. All right, now we move on to the vegetables. We have steamed greens with lemon oil, um, feta and walnuts, and also duck fat potatoes. So let's start with the steamed green first. I actually don't mind the vegetables. The vegetables are yeah. <laughs> quite enjoyable. I'd happily eat more of this actually. All right, next up we have duck fat potatoes. This is what it looks like. They have a nice crisp on the outside. It's very soft on the inside. And you can kind of taste a bit of the duck fat. Look, if I were doing a review for you, I would just stick to the seafood and the sashimi and order a little bit of hot stuff. But because I'm doing a review, I'm eating everything on this menu just to tell you like what I think is nice and what I think, you know, if you were to come here, you know, it's okay to skip. And in terms of everything that's on this menu, honestly, if you're a fan of seafood, that's great. I think the seafood here is extremely fresh and it's extremely delicious. In terms of the hot food, like the Sunday roast, I personally just found the meats a bit on the dry side. The duck was very good. The salmon was okay as well. The vegetables were not bad. The risotto, I didn't really like the risotto either. Um, but I like the potatoes. They do these potatoes a lot better than I would do them. I think we're pretty much done with all the hot food. It was quite impressive. Thank you for your help. 
Okay, so in terms of the dessert it's arrived, they've given us a little bit more than we asked for, but they gave it in really, really small portions, which I really appreciate. Thank you so much. So we've got four different flavors of ice cream, and then we've also got fruit with chocolate on the side, a tiramisu, a panna cotta, like a selection of really, really small cakes, which I don't know what they are at the moment, but we will find out. All right, I've got an entire plate of little ice creams in front of me right now and uh, we're gonna try a little bit of everything. First up, let's try the mango sorbet. Oh wow, the flavor of the mango is very, very strong. The sorbet is very light and it's very refreshing. Next up, let's try death by chocolate. I'm assuming this is very, very chocolatey. Hence the name. I actually don't find it too sweet. Next up we have the vanilla bean and you can see it has bits of vanilla bean sort of throughout this ice cream. Vanilla is great. Vanilla is always my favorite and last but definitely not least we have the praline. There's like bits of praline in it as well. I think my favorite is actually the praline and then the vanilla. All right, next up we have the vanilla panna cotta. It is so wobbly and so beautiful. I can't wait to eat it. This is so good. This is so creamy. It's not too sweet. It's milky, it's creamy. It's a bit tart from the fruit compote. Okay, next up, we are gonna try the tiramisu. It's already been consumed a little bit by my brother. The tiramisu is delicious as well. Now let me try the chocolate and passion fruit. Is it called truffle or trifle? Mm. Mm. Now let's try the chocolate and passion fruit trifle. So it's got like a chocolate biscuit on top and then this is like the passion fruit and then this is the chocolate and then more passion fruit. So it's a combination of like sweet, tart, sweet, tart. Okay, last and definitely not least, we have a series of these four tiny, tiny cakes on this very, very beautiful plate. I'm not too sure what these flavors are, but I can kind of guess, you know. First bite of what I'm assuming is the carrot cake. If you like carrot cakes, I think you'll really like this one. All right, next up we have the cheesecake. This one's really nice too. And then we have the pistachio apricot delight. So this is essentially the... <sighs> I think it's a Thai for this. It says pistachio. Yeah, the P and the O. O is right next to the P. <laughs> That's probably why. <laughs> so it's pistachio. <laughs> I think it's pistachio. I think it's a type. Sheeple right here. It was a sheeple. Doesn't have critical thinking. The O and the P stand next to each other on the keyboard. Oh yeah, you're right. All right, this is the pistachio apricot delight. I can taste the apricot. I can feel a bit of the pistachio crumbs. I'm not a huge fan of cakes, but I don't mind this one. And last but definitely not least, we have the raspberry opera. Mm. This one's not bad either. But so far, my favorite dessert is the panna cotta. No question, hands down. I think it's delicious. All right, final thoughts. Overall, I did enjoy the experience. I thought the seafood was amazing. It was extremely fresh, couldn't fault it at all. The hot food, it was okay. But the dessert, the dessert was also pretty good. So I'd say seafood, dessert, and then hot food. See, one of the things I like most about buffets is the fact that I can grab as much or as little food as I want. And not being able to do that, even though the staff there were super attentive, it's just, it's just not the same. So the entire experience came to $130 per person. And if you're thinking of visiting the Langham for a dinner buffet, I hope that this video helped with your decision. Uh, and that is pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching till the end. I post new videos every week. Check them out if you have time. I hope you have an amazing rest of the day and I will see you in my next video. Bye. A bit, it's a bit chewy. It's a bit chewy. We wanted to, if we wanted to, yeah. Go on, <laughs> Don't know what to say.
And then, Salah, like... Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you lost the will to live. 